Hey guys, so I'm sitting in my chicken yard right now thinking of a good idea for a video. And then a great one pops into my head. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to teach you how you can train your chickens, basically tame them, to watch what I'm going to do with a chicken called Lovey. This is what you can easily do. You can easily make them do that. And you can easily make them come over to you with whatever the case is. Well, that part's a little more difficult, but I'm going to teach you how you can tame them. Timing and all that will be covered too. So step number one is to start during egg laying time or before that. I actually got my chickens attention right before laying eggs and that's why they actually trust me. So you want to make sure that you're giving them, so that means you want to spoil them right before they're going to start laying eggs. If you're going to spoil them right before you're going to start laying eggs, then what you're going to do is you're basically going to create a, uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to allow your chickens to trust you. Because that's when they start showing signs of egg laying like this. This is what they normally do. You see, they kind of duck down, they stop. That's actually because of their egg laying. And that's the best time to do it. Because they know that when they're in the nesting box, they're very vulnerable. And they basically just give up. But you want to make sure that they trust you. They don't... <laughs> Like lovey does. It's easy to get a lovey. You just need a good attitude and you need very good motivation skills. But it's easy. So the timing is perfect. You need to make sure it's like two or three weeks before they start laying. Even though it's hard to tell when some chickens will start laying. When you feel like they're starting to get their combs and waddles in fastest. Hey there chicken bird. Uh, then that's when you want to start uh, working with them, feeding them a lot of food. Simply pick up some greens around the yard. They'll take that. Also, you could pick some uh, greens off of trees. Like, they love the maple leaves. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you this. I can go. I can go over here. I could uh, pick a maple leaf. Ah, sorry. And I can draw every single chicken's attention over here. Because they want to try the maple leaf. As you see, sprinkles even came. Falcon is coming too. I hear you, Lama. As you see, feeding them, hand feeding them things throughout the yard. This is basically working with them when I think they're gonna start laying eggs soon and when they start ducking down that means they're starting to trust you I'm gonna put this on like a leaf camera here I guess I'm gonna watch what happens do you hear a chicken down there? it's a chicken burger there look it's BCT and Abro and then Mrs. Peepers oh yes That's what happens when you're feeding other chicken stuff they'll come over all right so you know oh, look, it's gray cloud hang on really quickly guys I love this moment when you feed chickens Gray Cloud absolutely has a great bite. Gray Cloud loves maple leaves. So does Burnt Chicken Tender and all the other chickens, like Mrs. Peepers, and they all love maple leaves. See, maple leaves are... I mean, I, I've never eaten maple leaves, but I do like maple syrup. I come from a place where there's a lot of maple syrup, and it's called Canada. Obviously, because basically in our flag there's... Let me show you. Because in our flag, there's a maple leaf. Chickens love these, by the way. So another thing you want to do is, first we're going to go over here. Sorry for the one minute delay before I start getting into my reasoning. So you see what I'm going to do here? So this is, one that, this is a way you can convince them to start trusting you. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to pick them up. 
Oh, basic tea. I guess I don't want to work with you. I wanna, I wanna work with a chicken that already trusts me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with Abro here. See Abs right here, right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to her in a very calm voice. And we're gonna see how she responds. Hey Abro, you're okay, buddy. You're gonna be okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to protect you. I'm here to help, not harm. Okay? Put you down right now. Can you please trust me? Heard what I said? Thought you did, but... It's something... Well... I absolutely love my chickens. That's why I have to work with them a lot. You have to talk to them, and you have to make it like a little quiet voice whispering to them basically telling them why you should trust them and why and not why why they should trust you I mean oh, look it's a falcon feather and why you are not a threat in the description there is a copy and pasteable text where you could do that by the way, I am right now working on coding my website. On my website, there will be stuff to do that. You want to eat a falcon feather? Wow, gray cloud. Ah, so it's night. And all your chickens are in bed. I'm going to put fake chickens in here on the editing stage. You see them, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to shut the door every single night. Oh. Really, guys? You had to ruin my cutscene? <laughs> I don't have any food, though. So we're just gonna do... You know what? We're just gonna use the duck poop as an example. You always want to be the one to put them away. You want to show them that you're the one who's gonna care for them. You're the one who they should trust. You want to be the one. You want to be the one that's gonna care for them every single day. And also show them trust during the morning before you let them out. If I watch this, this is really simple. Watch what you can do. Get them to trust you every single morning. Sprinkle some chicken food around the yard and they'll love you for that. They will absolutely love you for that. Now I'm actually trying all these steps. You could try one and that might work, but I'm right now trying all of them to see how good they work. You can also use these steps to tame a rooster because I'm actually working on taming my rooster. I'll make a video on that later. You always want to make sure that you're never part of the threat. And you always want to make sure that you want to be feeding them food. So that way they want to follow you around the yard. Oh, I'm actually starting to get these three new ones to follow me around the yard like Lovey does. Wish I had food. Oh, how much I did. You guys are like the cutest chickens ever. Gray Cloud is so fluffy. And Sprinkles is just that orange tinge that makes it so cute. Tell me in the comments who do you think is cuter, Sprinkles or Gray Cloud? They're both really cute and they're hard to debate over. One is so gray and fluffy, the other isn't. Another great tip I have for making your chickens actually want to be with you is to be constantly protecting them. If, say, a red-tailed hawk were to come down and land in the yard and not kill one of them, you want to be there and scare it off. That'll make them feel like you're their great protector, even though there's a rooster in the flock or there isn't a rooster in the flock. You want them to look up to you as the great ultimate protector. You don't want them to look down at you for say not really giving it about them anyway right falcon you're not really the greatest protector but you certainly are a very handsome rooster these two are basically the star today's show gray cloud and sprinkles they are very cute chickens, but anyway.
it's just like the cutest that you could ever do. It's, but the cool thing is, is that, well, it doesn't take a lot to scare up a red-tailed hawk. They're birds. All birds are scared of humans, except for chickens and ducks and geese. They are not scared of humans. In fact, that's what I'm teaching you how to do today. Basically teaching you how to get birds to like you. Because chickens are birds. Parakeets do too, because I do have a parakeet. So do parrots and other parrot-like birds. But still, most birds are not, are too scared to be around humans. So if you go out there, say like, holding like a stick, like never like throw it at the thing, just like hold it, like like threaten it, like say, hey, if you don't get out, I'm gonna do this to you. And even if you don't have anything and you're not saying anything, you going near it, should just scare it away. Well, this is not a tutorial of how to get rid of predators. This is a tutorial of how to make your chickens love you. It's simple as that. They are scared of predators. You want them to know that you are their predator protector that will never die in their chickens' lives. Because roosters are the same thing as hens. They live the exact same life span as long as there's no predators. You live longer than chickens. You can live up to 90. They can't live that old. They can only live up to like 15. And that's if no predators are there. So you want to make sure that you are... You want to make sure that you are there for most of the chickens' lives. If you're, say, like 15 when you get your first chickens and then you have to go off to college, make sure you have younger siblings to recruit into the job. So that way they have... Uh, so that way they can do the exact same thing. That's why I have younger siblings. I'm not gonna be, I am gonna be a lot, my chickens are still gonna be alive when I go off to college. So that's that. High school's gonna start in not too long and that's gonna be bad. Cause I'm gonna have uh, homework, a lot of it. And my videos will be like once a month. That just does not sound good. But still, you always want to make sure that your chickens are getting protected from predators 24-7. Uh, and, and how you do it at night is simply locking them up. If you have a sturdy coop with either a sturdy foundation or some sturdy tires like I do, then you're going to keep the predators out. It's easy. You're going to keep them out. You're going to kick them out of being able to put your chickens as an advantage. You want your chickens to be a disadvantage. All right, everybody, click subscribe, turn on notifications, because doing that will help you out a lot. It'll take weights off your shoulders if you're struggling to come up with things about your chickens, and struggling to care for them, or you just want cool, entertaining chicken videos, because I will do some cool challenges, like last to leave chicken yard wins prize sort of challenges. I will do those. So yeah, click subscribe for those.